Hello everyone, LP Gamer here. Welcome to a brand new series of Let's Plays. The game of choice is going to be Sid Meier's Starships. Um, this has got released uh, yesterday in the UK and I was uh, really looking forward to playing this one. Um, you know, when I was watching all the reviews and stuff like that, it kind of appealed to me. Let me just turn the music down on this just a touch and I'll get into the nitty gritty of this. So, I got it and I tried it last night and today I'm debating with myself as to whether to um, do a, a let's play on this. Uh, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, I wouldn't say I was disappointed, you know, I did see the reviews but I thought it was going to be a little bit different. Um, but I'll, I'll put this one up as a episode 1. And then, if there's going to be an episode 2, I'll just leave it up to you guys. You, you guys tell me what you think, um, and we'll go from there. But, I'll just go through this, and we'll just see how it goes. And then, you can make up your minds. Okay, here we go. So, first off, Sid Meier's Starships. Let's go for a new game. You get to choose your affinity. If you've ever played St um, Sid Meier's, what the hell is the name, Civilization Beyond Earth, you probably recognise a few of the faces on this. These are the people or the races that you can choose in it. Um, I'm going to go with purity. Purity reverses, uh, reverses the history of our people and their human characteristics. They receive double resource, uh, resource rewards for completing missions. So each leader gives you a certain stat. So on this one, I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose, yeah, I'm going to choose Socha, Sokicha, Sokicha, whatever the name is there. We're going to take her because you start off with two random tech upgrades, tech upgrades are good. Um, we're going to go map size, epic, and I'm going to put it on moderate, and put all the victories on. So we'll go into the game. This is basically how to play it. Um, you got to travel to neighbouring star systems to complete missions and gain influence. Complete the missions to gain influence, uh, that's the blue ring, uh, and receive resources from that. And when you gain all the four influences, you gain the planet and it becomes part of your system. And you've just got to keep expanding, obviously, with other uh, computer AI uh, trying to do the exact same as you. So here we have it, this is our home system. This is our home world. Uh, many say, men say 27. And we've also got our two ships there. So this is how the screen, the, uh, the actual battle map, the uh, game looks like. Uh, it seems like there's a slight lag on the, uh, the camera. I don't know why that is, it just seems to be the, uh, the norm there. But uh, yeah, you can see there we've got five cities on this Mense, and we have a population of five billion on, on there. We can build up, what the hell is that beeping noise? Am I missing something here? Um, you can see the crew, everybody on the crew is all good to go. We've got various missions that we can go to. That's what all these things are like. For that one there, you get 500 credits, 600 science, a free tech, 600. We'll probably go for this distress call one first. Um, and the resources that we gain each turn, I believe. Is it turns? Uh, yeah, it's turns. And um, if your crew gets all tired or damaged, whatever, uh, and your ships gets damaged, you can send them on shore leave. Down the bottom, we've got... Scanning database. Fucking really loud. That's what we've got there. Two seconds. Uh, how the hell do you get any options? Settings and effects. Let me bring that down a bit so I can actually hear myself. Um, yeah, so we've got advice down there on what to do. We start with, we already start off with thousand energy. Uh, energy is this one. This is what we use to upgrade our ships with. We've also got uh, the research screen. We can research different types of, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, science. So right now we've got one in uh, quantum suppre uh, suppression, which gives us a 50% to effectiveness of stealth systems. And we also have some in the field theory, which is a uh, 50% to damage absorbed by the shield. I am going to not put anything into the science right now, but I am going to upgrade my ships, which is, uh, oh yeah, they've got market screen where you can sell all these stuff for energy credits or vice versa. We've also got diplomacy in the game. Uh, we can see there that we have 5 billion people, which is 4% of the galaxy as it is now. So we own 4% of the galaxy with just one planet and any two technologies, but with no wonders. 
on the planets you can click on there uh, click on it by left clicking and you can see how much uh, we're gaining from all these um, various uh, planetary upgrades which are under here planetary uh, improvements we don't have enough money to buy them from the way uh, and also we've got the civilpedia or spacepedia what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to upgrade our ships which is in here and these are our two ships as you can see there is one we've got an uh, assault corvette and we've got the corvette class both rookie ships both unproven so let's uh, upgrade this so this one's a stronger of the two assault ship needs to be quite fast so i'm going to put when you click on that that's the upgrade you probably notice that the ship will go through various stages of uh, visual improvements that's just as I slap on these different things. So I'm going to give it one to his engines. Uh, I'm going to give one to his shields. Obviously, I'm being assault class. I want him to get in there and get out. Uh, I'm going to put another. How much have got? 600. How much is that? 200 on the plasma cannon. And we'll put another 200 on the torpedoes. Down here, we're going to give our uh, Corvette class. Well, it has no armor in it. So I'm going to put one on it there. So it's just got new uh, lasers. Lasers are close, uh, sorry, they're long range weapon. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. We're just going to take it and then we're going to go down here and uh, check out this planet, do the first mission. So all I'm going to do is left click and you'll see that we'll move down there and it'll put us into a different screen. Lensis, 30, so, two. episode one, distress call. Um, we've got marauders. Uh, on approach to this research facility and they're empowering up their weapons. We can't hold their, uh, hold up to the attacks for long. Will you help us? Obviously we're going to go in there um, and uh, help these guys because we want to gain their system under ours. So we're going to continue and it'll come up this screen. This gives us a chance to change things if we need to. We can learn about uh, Lindus 32, which is the name of the planet here. Uh, there's asteroid fields. The asteroid fields are less dense in this quadrant, which means well, when we go into battle map, there'll be less obstacles. In the other civilization games, you had like terrain and uh, stuff like that that you had to fight around. In this one, it's just these asteroids or planets or space stations. These are uh, cover, essentially. Uh, so, Linsys 32 engines, a few billion sets of Linsys 32, including the engineers who can up up upgrade starship power more efficiently, which is good. Also, we can get some. Uh, Advice on the ships that we're going to be going up against. More other ships mount powerful weapons, use asteroids for cover, which we will do. These are the enemy missions. 63 so we've got a 63% chance of uh, getting through this. This should be relatively easy. Um, you know, I think one of our ships is on a 4.7, so it's. Well, fuck, I don't want to speak too soon. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll just go in here. Uh, and it also gives you a chance if you want to build another uh, starship or upgrade any systems, but we can't because we've no money. So we're just going to go in, we're going to dispatch our yes, ships. Yes, Commander. Uh, so we've got to defend the friendly planet from Marauders, not fewer, fewer asteroid fields. So this is the planet here, this is Linsus 32, and here comes the enemy now. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move our sh No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm actually going to move you over there by right clicking. And I'm just going to fire a torpedo once I get my hand out. It's actually quite cold in this room today. Um, and I'm going to try and plot a trajectory. Hope that he goes that direction. Now he's going to stick to this guy here I'm on about. And he's going to try and stick to cover as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is just launch this. The torpedo doesn't go straight away into them. Uh, you pilot it. All will become apparent. I know it's weird, but here we go. I am going to fire this. This direction. So you can see it's halfway there already, and then I'm going to move him to about there. And his turn. This guy here, I am going to see if I can engage. I can. I'm just going to leave him there. I want to give be as much in cover as possible. Actually, this is a stealth ship. There here they come. That's their fighters. Ah, uh, their frigate. I think it was a frigate. Shit. To go and chunk out of us. Um, okay, I'm still trying to figure this one out. Boom! Nice shot! So obviously, splash damage managed to get rid of that guy, which is what we just used just then. 
And then what I'm going to do is try and get these guys a with another torpedo. Probably this. Maybe about there. We'll see what happens. It's definitely on a direct course for him. We'll just move him around cover because he's a main guy. End of turn. And these guys, these will probably get him anyway. Just fire at them. Good fires no more. And we got some points. So obviously we got um, some points taken off because we took some damage. 44% damage actually on our uh, Corvette, the SSS Hector. SSS Hector. Receiving all resources from Linsys. 32. Our colonists can rest easy. Please accept the gift of one free tech as a token of our gratitude. Yours is the first Starfleet to come to our aid. Plus one influence. 75% of our people now support your federation. We are pleased to share all of our resources with your federation. Sounds good. We're happy all for the uh, assistance. Now we get to upgrade something here. I am going to choose... What will I to choose? I'm going to take uh, nano electronics, it gives us a plus 25% to damage caused by long range users. This is free. I'm not spending anything by using nano it. Electronics level one. We now have three influence points on Lancer's Factor as a result of this mission. We now receive all the resources. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my guys on shore leave there so we can get these resources. We should be able to absorb that. Uh, oh, Christ. We should be able to absorb that uh, system into our world. There's a lot of shit going on around us, actually. Linsis32 has joined our federation. Just by putting our guys on shore leave down on the ground, we uh, we now have that planet within our federation. Which should change things dra dramatically, because we now own, uh, we have 8 billion people with 6% of the galaxy under our control. Good job, Susha. Or Saka, or whatever her name is. But that still doesn't um, solve the problem, and the problem being that we still have to fix our ships. But we do have a little bit more money that we can spend. Um, so we're going to go into upgrade our starships, and we're going to repair it. How much is it going to cost? Yeah, it shouldn't cost that much. Well, that's us fully up and up and running. Now I'm debating to whether to add another ship to our fledging fleet, or should we upgrade the ones that we've already got? Um, what was that one, that torpedo one? It didn't seem to, what is that? Kind of a short, oh, it was a short range. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to upgrade this guy's, let me just think here. I'm going to give him fighters. I'll give him fighters. Ah, speed takes a hit. I just uh, left click to buy and right click to, um, uh, delete or replace some module. Um, I'm just trying to think here. I mean, the ship itself is relatively okay. It's got that. I mean, this one's on 70 hit points and it speeds 4.1. But if I buff that, I tell you what. Let's. Um, you can choose the perfect moment to get these. Torpedoes are punished. How much is this? So many. Things. Let's upgrade these torpedoes. I'll do that for him. And I'll upgrade his, um, his engines, goes up to 5, and for this guy I'll upgrade his shielding, and his engines, and his lasers. There we go, 4.7. So the other ones still were more, you know, powerfulest, powerfulest ship? Even if that's a freaking word, I don't know. Um, so now we can build Stealth Torpedo Wonder. Stealth Torpedo Wonder, and on this planet we can build Redundant Systems Wonder. So you can build Wonders on various planets. So I'm going to try this one. Make uh, make torpedoes undetectable. What does it need? Spend 2,000. Now this obviously takes it, this is like our metals, and it takes it away from the actual planet itself, so we, can actually, we can't up, actually upgrade it. Um, but I'm going to take it anyway. I would like that. Um, how much does the city cost? We have 2,300 and it'll cost 1,500 to build the city. 3 billion. This volcanic biome produces 50% additional energy. Let's, yeah, let's go for it. Let's build the city there. There we go. 
So now we have four, we're getting that little bit extra income. And obviously this is where we're getting our stealth stuff from, and our stealth torpedoes. Right, next up, let's go and find something else here. Let's, and this is basically how the game goes. You're just searching around trying to drag more stuff into your empire. Uh, what's this? Space that creates a jump gate. What, right there? Is that? I have no idea. Obviously, we've never got a computer player over this way to the right. I don't really be picking a fight with anybody just yet. Why is that red? Because uh, there's more orders there. That is a big system. Let's go and get some more metal, so we'll do this one first. Then we'll move across and we'll do the one on the right hand side. Venez, mettez vous à l'aise. Franco Iberia vous accueille chaleureusement. Pretty sure that was French, and she was saying, Well, apparently, we are not alone in the galaxy. Good day, I'm Edely uh, Elodie, or whatever her name is, president of the Second Galactic Alliance. Si, amigo. As you can see, we have assembled a powerful fleet. Well, not really. So they only control one system. Uh, they're more science oriented, I think. Uh, tell me about your territories. Oui, mon ami. Please. Bevia Mochi, avec cette épée, nous vous apportons la culture. Peace tree, we've done. Um, right, receiving transmission from whatever that woman said. A transport rumored to be carrying uh, rogue death bots have been detected en route to our outpost in outer orbit. We uh, understand that an enemy renegade fleet is absorbing this dangerous vessel. Escorting, sorry. We must prevent the vessel from reaching outpost. Okay, what's this? Mm -hmm. So tell me about Displaying it. Displaying planetary information. It's got numerous jump gates. Jump gates help me move about the map a lot faster. And this is a harvest planet. And it produces more... F f what is that? More food? Doesn't look very foody, I have to say. Uh, Provide me some advice. Focus on the transport. The other ships are merely escorts. Chance of mission success, 36%. So transports. We've got some other corvettes, the destroyer. The destroyer is probably going to be the, uh, the hardest hitting one. It is actually. Uh, that one's got 120 hit points, that one's got 95. Both torpedoes, and that one's stealth. 36%. Alright, well, I see we do it. Yes, Commander. We just need to get rid of that one ship, that one. Uh, this thing here. Stealth mode. So see. Fighters launched. We'll send our fighters off. They can go and do their thing while we uh, while we try and protect the uh, the fleet here. And this is probably a whole move in there. And this time, put them in stealth mode. Move forward and touch. They're trying to get to here. Oh shit, he's taking a hit. What is that? There we go. Enemy shields disabled. And then what I'm going to use is. Let me just try and plan this one out. We might go about there. See what happens with that ship. Uh, what is this? Warp connect. Create a normal. We don't want that. But what we do want to do is fire a weapon at something that we can hit. Any fire. It's all blocked. Engaging stealth systems. We'll put them in stealth mode. And the time to see what happens. So okay. This might hurt. Right, looks so good. They're not really hard hitting, I have to say. What is that thing? Uh we won this. 
Oh, we've done it! <laughs> Did the strike a blow? There we go. We never got any points for some reason. Why is that? Never got body enough. Receiving all resources from Bopecule sixty-three. So they gave us some minerals and metals and that. Um, the renegade fleet, uh, fleet, the renegade fleet threat has been neutralized. Please accept this gift of one thousand one hundred metals as a token of our gratitude. Yours is the first staff week to come into our aid, plus 1%, 75% of our people now support your federation. We're pleased to share all of our resources with your federation. Thank you very much. And then obviously, shore lever guys. And then we watch whatever else is going on in the map around us. To see what uh, Ilado D is doing over there. A lot of wars going on. A lot of wars. Well, Pecule, 63 has joined our federation. Now we have the uh, Vicepule 63 now joined our federation, which brings us up to 8%. Uh, we're just slightly in front of uh, Alo Died D. She's on a uh, 7%, so that's good in that respect. But at least we have them in the midst. Probably go for their next. And uh, yeah, let's just repair our ships, which we did, that's good. So yeah, I'm going to call this episode here. Um, this, this pretty much is how the uh, the game will plan out. You move to place, you fight, you get rid of, you know, you get rid of all the bad guys and then you move on, you keep moving on, you uh, keep upgrading your ships, gaining new technologies and the such like. For me, it was... I think that I was expecting more. I thought there would be more interaction with your starships, um, as opposed to just moving about the map. Click here, fight that, done. Um, it's you could say this is like the first ever kind of review that I've ever done on any of the kind of games, but uh, I really was looking forward to playing this one. Um, but I'll leave it up to you guys. Um, you know, I'll just leave it on episode one for a good old while until at least we get what you know if. You know, if somebody wants me to start doing a, a Let's Play series on this, then let me know. I'll uh, continue on from where I've left off. But, uh, yeah, for the time being, I'll uh, speak to you guys later. As always, please like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see, see more from me. Bye-bye.